how to draw cast shadow on a cube, cylinder and cone. Buenos dias, my creative friends, it's Olga Sarokina here and today I'm going to show you how to draw cast shadows on such an object. Let's get started. I would like to start with a cube and important note, grab your sheet of paper and a pencil now and draw with me, because only practice makes perfect. All right, our first step is drawing a horizon line, sometimes it's called uh, as well a uh, level, and after that putting an object, in our case it's cube, under the horizon line. Well, our next step is deciding where our light source will be. So let's assume that we have a sun over here and let's draw a line perpendicular to our horizon line and the point where it hits the horizon line, this is our shadow vanishing point. After that, we draw a line from that point through three visible corners, bottom corners of our cube. Well, our next step will be drawing parallel lines through upper corners of our cube. I will mark them with my orange marker, so you could better see them. Well, after that, I will draw parallel lines, so let's assume that's how our light falling on the object and how uh, it gives our shadows. I prefer to draw parallel lines of light. Uh, the second variant is to draw lines directly from the light source from our sun, but in this case your shadow will look uh, longer. I recommend you to use different color pencils so you can keep track on your lines better and easier, but in case if you don't have any you can use your regular pencil. Alright, the difficult part is almost done. So. Keep in mind that you need to find these dots, these intersections of uh, corresponding lines. And here they are, our dots that we will connect in the right sequence together. For now, I want to make our task a little bit more difficult, so you can practice harder and get more results. Uh, so let's say we will level up it. So let's say that it is not just a cube for now, but a really cool design coffee table with a glass top, which I will show now with this light blue Copic Chow marker. As far as our cube is transparent now, we get an extra point which will affect our shadow. So let's draw a parallel line through this upper corner and let's connect our vanishing point with the bottom corner of our cube. So these two lines gave us new intersection, this one, and now we will connect this new dot with the previous ones and this is how we get our shadow from the glass, from the table top glass. All right, what we need to do now is to make the shadows of these edges of the cube bolder and more vivid. For these purposes, I will use my chart mark marker, so the shadow of our design table, design cube will look more realistic. And that's it with the cube, hope you enjoyed it. Well, for now let's deal with the cylinder. Basically we need to repeat all the same steps that I mentioned before, but with some difference, as it is not a cube, but it is a cylinder. So we put our horizon line, we put our shadow vanishing point on it, we draw lines through that vanishing point, we define our light, light source, and showing these light beams as uh, parallel lines. So I will use my ruler. And we draw them until they hit, until they intersect uh, the two lines, which are going to our shadow vanishing point. And after that, let's shadow it in. 
Well, and that's pretty much it with the cylinder. Maybe let's add some stylish silhouette to it. And I'd like to add with my colored pencil its own shadow to make it more realistic and to uh, show that the sun is from behind it. Our third hero for today is Cone, and the process of drawing its shadow is pretty much the same as for the cube and for the cylinder, but the difference is that the cone has its own peak. So let's draw the horizon line. This time maybe it will be a little bit lower. It will go through the cone itself. Let's put on it vanishing point and let's bring this line from the peak of the cone until bring it down until it hits the uh, center line of the oval of the cone and after that we need to draw the straight line which is our light after that we will connect these three dots and shade it in and that is how we find the shadow of the cylinder And that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. For more information, please go to my website olgard888.com and follow me on Instagram olgard888. Please share this video with your creative friends and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.